Hi there again, World Literature Class. This is Maride Sikaral, and we are on the first week lecture. So, the stories of creation. And I have here my objectives. My objectives are compare and contrast various myths of creation, recognize parallel creation stories between different continents and the Bible, assume social roles based on different mythologies, generate significance of the story in a personal and communal level. And then the topic would be stories of creation from Greek and Roman civilization. We have the Titans and the Twelve Olympians, how the world and mankind were created, Prometheus and Pandora, Euclion and Cairo, and Floods. And then we uh, recap and review of the previous lesson. I have just uh, discussed the, the significance of uh, the pictures of William Spady, the father of outward space education, as a tool in analyzing our literary pieces in a very simple way. So I hope we all digested all of these things. And I hope you have already already watched my YT link, my YouTube uh, video clip for that uh, lecture. Okay, so I have here, I am posting the link that where you're going to watch Titans and Tell Olympians. I want you to watch this one after our my presentation because when I come next meeting, we will be um, I will be discussing a lot about this one. Um, but I will be giving you an advance that it is a great going to be. Okay. Also we have here the how the world and mankind were created. Of course the YouTube is there. Let's let's all watch together. And then um, I want you to also work on some activities later on after uh, we finish the, the discussion. And then uh, take note also of the link that I'm sending you for the third uh, myth that we have right now, the Prometheus and Pandora, the source of creation, still the same. And then the fourth one we have uh, the Italian and Pyro, still under source of creation. So I am posting the different links that you have to watch for these different myths and stories of, of the uh, lot of the, uh, some sort. Okay, so what we have to do for this week's activity is that I want you to, uh, for every uh, story that we have watched, which story among the stories presented do you like best? Explain briefly. So you're not going to work on one, uh, on all of the stories, but I want you to just choose one and explain briefly why do you like that uh, story the best. And why is what is valid in the story? Why and how? Okay. And then the last question would be: Do you uh, do you find this or this values in the Philippine context? This question. So I want you to compare the values, uh, core values that you have seen in this myths of other nations compared to our uh, Philippine myths. So you have to find all of those values in our Philippine myths. That's the value that we have uh, you've been referring to. If you have chosen. Okay, I have here a make make a matrix of the film made. So it's like a comparative, a big, uh, tabulation of and how to compare the content of all these uh, video clips that you have watched to make the story short. So I have there, of course, the Titans and the Tall Olympians, how the world and mankind were created, the Prometheus and Pandora, and uh, Italian and Pyra. And then first column, what is valued in the story? Then you have to just briefly discuss what is valued in the story. Briefly discuss, okay, it's just a brief discussion. And then uh, briefly explain. How does the story define heroism? Of course, again, briefly explain how, it, how does each story define heroism? And where is the beauty of the story? Again, discuss briefly or show briefly where is the beauty of the story? In which part of the story is the beauty lies? Okay, so now we also have, you should not forget, uh, the six babies, six days of uh, William baby, but I wanted to focus on the last three parts only because that would be the highest. The highest, the last three C's 
are the highest forms of trying to analyze uh, literature, and I have discussed broadly how you have to do with um, manifesting the last species of William's baby in our literature. These levels are curiosity based, contribution based, and consciousness based, which was uh, already elaborated in our past discussion. So I just wanted to find out in story one, story two, and story three. Okay, but I have to write this story four from those. Uh, well, anyway, just choose a story, uh, three stories out of the video clip that you have to watch and find, find with yourself the curiosity level in that particular study. What's the contribution um, of that story and the consciousness found in that new story, which is very much now the consciousness part would be very much, uh, uh, very much related to your personal perspective. Okay, this is the most exciting and most challenging part of my report today because it's a group project for Medburn and I want you to group yourself into three groups alphabetically arranged. If it's not alphabetically arranged, then uh, choose your own preference. How are you going to, to arrange the group into three, subdivide the group into three groups, okay? And the second one, search another folklore on flood story and we're in the world and create an info graph for each part of the story, depending on how you create your summary, okay? When you say info graph, it's in a net, it's like a storybook, it's like uh, a lot of pictures with information, and it, you make your story, the summary of your story in an info graph. So it comes up like a comic, I guess, and uh, please try to search more, because uh, millennials are more techy than uh, the old teachers. And next one, let us see limit infograph up to minute uh, up to minimum of 10 to 15 pages only. So it will only be a compose of 10 to 15 pages only and in your infograph. And then when you submit, put a picture of the student on the cover page and his name or her name below his picture for identification. The last part would be uh, the whole thing when you try to submit your uh, product. Please do not forget the picture and then your name because I want to identify everyone. Uh, because right now it is very much limited. I don't see everyone in virtual class because, uh, because of the internet connection. And sometimes you also can't see me. So let's identify each other with our photos. So I want you to do that on your uh, project. I still have the same scoring rubric. I can send this 25%, organization is 25%, business clarity is 25%. Significance or impact is 25%, that makes 100% so for all those assignment activities and projects. If you have questions, then please uh, feel free to ask me or text me on the messenger. Okay, so again, submission will be 10 days upon receipt and send product to my Google account, medibasicorol.cbsu.edu.ch, and ask the account, you know that. And again, again, and again, I want to tell you this one, relax, keep calm. That class is all. And here are my references. Here I have a good, uh, good vibes line. To foretell the destiny of a nation, it is necessary to open the book that tells of her past. So our uh, historical past and literature is very important uh, for us to appreciate things in our nation and to foretell our destiny. Okay? Again, this is Marie Basic at all. Uh, your instructor for this course. Happy day, God bless us all. I love you, everyone.